Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. We're given two regular polygons and it wants to know what is the perimeter of the shaded region. So our goal is to add up all of these sides and all of these sides. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. First, let's label the unknown side S. And since this is a regular hexagon, all these sides will be equal to S. And then since this is a side of the regular nonagon, all of these will be equal to S. So our perimeter is going to be equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 S's. This looks important. Let's put a box around it. Next, let's get rid of all the S's except these two. Now let's copy this down here. Let's get rid of this label right here and let's separate our two regular polygons. If we extend this side right here, this is called an external angle. And let's call it n degrees where n stands for nonagon because that's the name of this polygon. And then if we look at all of these external angles, they're all going to be equal to each other. They will all be n degrees. And the sum of the exterior angles of any polygon is equal to 360 degrees. Same thing will happen down here. If we have all of these external angles, they will be equal to each other and they're all going to sum to 360. So it doesn't matter if it's a nonagon or a hexagon, the sum of the external angles will always equal 360. So in order to solve for n or to solve for h, we can plug them into these equations. The sum of these nine external angles would be 9n, and the sum of these six external angles would be 6h. Going back to this equation, we can divide both sides by nine, and we get n degrees is equal to 40 degrees. And then we can do the same thing down here. We can divide both sides by six, and that gives us h is equal to 60 degrees. So now we know the external angles of a regular nonagon is 40 degrees, and the external angles of a regular hexagon is 60 degrees. Let's smush these up here and let's make a box right here and zoom into this spot. This angle right here, that's this right here, that is the external angle of the nonagon. So we'll call that 40 degrees. And then this larger angle, that's this whole thing, which is the external angle of the hexagon. And that'll be equal to 60 degrees. And we don't know the size of this green piece, so let's call it x degrees. But we do know that the 40 degrees plus the x degrees needs to equal this entire thing, the 60 degrees. After we subtract 40 degrees from both sides, we'll get x is equal to 20 degrees. So we can update this angle to be 20 degrees. And now we don't need this anymore, and we don't need this anymore. Looking at this little triangle right here, we have two sides of S. That means it's an isosceles triangle. Since these two sides are equal, these two base angles would be equal. So let's call them A degrees. And now we can solve for A. Inside of this triangle, these three angles would add up to 180 degrees. We can subtract 20 from both sides. On the left-hand side, we'll have A plus A, which is 2A. And on the right-hand side, we'll have 180 minus 20, which is equal to 160. After we divide both sides by 2, we'll have A is equal to 80. So that means each of these angles is equal to 80 degrees. Now let's clean this stuff up. Since this is 80 degrees and this straight line is 180 degrees, that leaves 100 degrees right here because the 100 plus 80 is equal to 180. And now we have two angles in this triangle. This angle is unknown. Let's call it B degrees. And we know the internal angles 40 plus 100 plus B will equal 180. Next, we can combine 40 plus 100 to get 140. And then we can subtract 140 from both sides. And that'll leave us with B is equal to 180 minus 140 is 40. So let's change this B degrees into 40 degrees. And now we don't need this stuff anymore. Now looking at this triangle right here, since these two base angles are equal to 40, that means it's an isosceles triangle and these two sides are congruent. Since this side is S, this side would also be S. And we also know this side is equal to two, so we can say S is equal to two. Now we know that all of these sides are equal to two. So in this original equation, in the place of S, we can plug in two. 13 times two is equal to 26, and let's give it a label of units. So the perimeter of this shaded region is equal to 26 units. How exciting. So this was day nine of our Katrina Ag puzzle. This right here is gonna be day 10. We're given a semicircle and we're given that this distance is equal to six. And our goal is to find out what's the area of this rectangle. How exciting.